Hey Paris, blessed afternoon to you. Today is Tuesday. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. And most of all, I'd like it to be good night. When you cock up in your bed and I watch Debbie down your yard. Yeah. No, I am, it's not a cooking, it's not a really, it's like a medicine video. I just wanted to share this with you. I have come up with a little tea for myself that I have tried and I have drunk it and this is it. I have used orange peel, dried orange peel. I have used some old cloves, like I'll put away am. These are really small. Yeah, like I'll put away am. And I've used with it some garlic. And I found it to be real beneficial, real effective. Let me throw it out. Let you can see. And I hope you're taking the necessary precautions. Look at it. You're washing your hands. You can't wash the hand them too much. And the beauty about this, I think I've done this probably about four to five days ago. It doesn't go bad. It doesn't go sour. It doesn't go anything. This is what it looks like. This is my last from that, and I'll be drinking it. May I drink it pan camera? I gonna see. But I want to get right into showing you how to prepare it. And let me tell you from now, it don't taste good. It don't nice like ice cream. It does not taste good. But it is needed in these times. I going to tell on a certain time I see the need. May I go share. Okay, so you know I always I have some more to peel my oranges and I always own them right here. Those of you who are following me on the Jamaican cooking journey, I always peel my oranges and I always own them right there to dry the skin. So I have some now. I can't go anywhere to get any fresh oranges. I'm not going by the farmer's market. So I have these. Now you want to put an these are breaking up. Some of us about put a um, a feet 12 inches of the dried one. This is dry. This is how it is. Someone else about you know, because you know, you peel it and it curls. I just say one foot of it dried, so you know, you got to wash them. But look here, I did wash my oranges before I peel them, right? But still give them a rinse. And when they were dried, I have them in a clean ziplock. You can store it in your cupboard, you can store it in your refrigerator. Now I am going to be putting some old clothes. If your clothes are this small, let me show you. Mine are really small. Some of them are fatter than them. So this is like about 12 little pieces of clothes because the clothes are really strong. Them strong and them have this sort of, you know, burning sensation. I'm gonna give them a rinse. Remember I always tell you to rinse your pimento seeds and all of that and if you cannot get clothes you can use your pimento seeds so i have my clothes them in there and last but not least i am going to be using three pegs of garlic so you know what you must do and listen to me when you smash it like this and you are removing the, the and you have removed this the trash you must rinse it family paris you must rinse it again not because it's this thing that we are thing we are facing and we are battling that's not why i have always practiced that now see what i have in there this is what i have in there so my garbage wash on outside, my garbage pan wash on outside. So I'll be putting about, I'm gonna go now and put about three cups of water on this soon come. So this is my three cups of water, and I'm gonna leave in the description the length of orange peel, but you can feed away around this. Remember, when you peel the orange, it's orange, it's a big orange, it's long. When it's dried, it comes down to less than half. But you want about a foot, 12 inches, 10 to 12 inches of the dried orange peel, right? You want about 
um, 12 clothes if they are small you use 12 if they are huge you use 9 and 3 reasonable sized pegs of garlic 3 cups of water I'm going to leave it for you in the description now I'm going to leave it to come to a boil right and medium now make it come to no rapid boil let's make it stay there on the medium take your time come to the boil now to the tour that <laughs> I am going to be drinking mine for you nobody in the house want to test it daddy did you drink any in shaky i did about the answer dad doesn't want to have anything to do with it i gave camera girl some one time i don't know me never, me, me never really tell jer but let me take a seat for now let me take a seat because let me tell you this thing don't taste good but when you do it for yourself you can't tell me it has this I don't know how to explain it Paris when it goes down in your throat it is like it goes down and it just clear everything I think it's from the orange peel goes down lad I don't want to scare you I want you to try it I know it's good but it don't taste good but It has this bit laugh. It has this bitter taste. You're tasting the garlic, of course. Remember, don't don't, don't go too much with the garlic. And the cloves. The you must do it that you taste the orange peel, the dried orange peel. You know too much of it has this bitterish taste. So you must do it so. want to scare you <laughs> but now that it goes down or it's gone down you start to feel like in your lips inside you know your mouth there and then down here you feel it going right now you'd have to try it for yourself and as I say there is something beautiful about it it does not go bad outside the refrigerator another thing the more it stays, the more cure it tastes. Tastes bad when it's in your mouth, but it doesn't. It tastes bad to the tongue. As I go to the tip of the tongue, but it not tastes bad in the throat. It has this burning sensation in the throat go in down and it relieves the cough. Tastes bad. That is how I can try to put it. I'm trying my best. I am me drink all of it. Taste bad on the in the yeah, in your mouth, it tastes really bad. You know, some serious bitter syrupy, but it's not in your throat. You feel it as this cooling sensation going down in your throat. I have come up with it. I have I knew the, the benefits of the orange dried orange peel, and we all know the benefit health benefits are ginger. Google the benefits of the clove. Remember, I, I think I told you in on the jamaican cooking journey family that you could chew a few cloves when you have a tingling in your throat it eases it for the if your throat is sore and you chew a few cloves in the snap of an instant it's there that sore throat goes away so i decided that i'll put the cloves with it okay and the two i in a video i've done a video here that i showed you how to prepare a decent strong cup of lemongrass it is going around and saying, I think I've seen a few videos where they're saying lemongrass. I really Google the properties of the lemongrass and they're saying it's good for, um, it is good for, I don't remember, but it has something to do with help to clear up um, your stomach and your throat and mucus and stuff and them something. I didn't know that. I just know that lemongrass, you will always drink it. But now more and more people are finding out the benefits of different things. Before you do this tea, Make sure that you Google the, help, the all the benefits, the do's and the don'ts of it. Right over here, see it's coming to a boil. You see? And when it's boiled and it's properly um, steeped, you will get that dark color. That dark color comes from the cloves. So that is to tell you how strong the cloves are. Eh? So I leave for you in the description the amount that you're supposed to use and for, for each and you want to try it 
you try make sure if you read if, if you if you find out the different different um benefits of each and you feel that if you're and as always if you're taking medication from your doctor ask your doctor remember please to find out please to ask your doctor before you just take it up and do it you know never try to put anything against your doctor's medication never try to do that so if you're on meds make sure you find out from your doctor tell him one what and so and if he or she says you can go ahead then you go ahead if you're not upon a medication you can give it a try okay so i'm waiting on it to come to a boil then i'm gonna lower the flame let it steep for about 40 30 40 minutes and then i'll come back and i'll show you the finished product i hope that you are trying your very best try to find some little home remedy remember there is no vaccine for what we are battling so we have got to keep ourselves safe remember i did not tell you that it's a cure for what we are fighting you know because some people they always come to put words in your mouth in the comment section we are just trying to keep ourselves safe to see if we can you know this is not for you if you anything has happened this is for you to just take it and then to try to see you know if your immune system can you know build up a little bit fight off some other little sniffles and stuff that is that are in the air this is just something that i am sharing i did not say it is a cure for anything please remember that i came up with it and i've tried it for myself and i like how it makes my my throat feel and uh -uh, like that and i figure more or less that it would probably help we just like regular cold and flu and coughing and all of that. So if it is that you want to, as I said before more than one time, I leave in the description the amount that I, 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 I use. And you see how I do it. I just wash them and I'm putting them to come to a boil and leave it to steep. When it is true, I'll come back to you. Hope you're staying safe. You're staying blessed. You're staying prayed up. Make sure you're washing your hands properly make sure the hands are being washed you clean up your area wipe off the doorknob you know all the necessary precautions they can't be too much when everything is over when that is finished i'll come back to show you when it is finished boiling and it has steeped for a, a, a reasonable amount of time i show you what it looks like so now paris this is what it looks like after i have boiled i let it boil up for about 10 minutes and then i cover it to steep it is still hot as you can see okay but you can realize that you know it's getting darker what will happen is that you don't drink this under 24 hours though though don't drink it under 24 hours let it stay for 24 hours overnight preferably 24 hours the most that's what i had mine because i told you i did mine like well, about five days ago and i drank it in about five to six different parts and uh, as after 24 hours it will get that dark so i'm telling you that in case you have it and you see it keeps getting dark so what i did i didn't throw off anything i just left it in the pot like that and i had it here in the kitchen so i would just drink like a half a cup each day so i'm telling you that in case each day you see it gets darker and darker don't be alarmed that's how it is don't give it to the small children i don't think i think it's you know it will just be too much for them in the throat I probably could give them a little bit of the orange peel only, but don't give them with the clothes, you know? Clothes are really strong. So one more time, let me show it to you. It is here cooling down. As it cools, uh, it gets darker and darker. So this is what I tried, and it, you wanna try it? You can try it for yourself. And then I know you'll tell me how it goes. You know, with all these changes and everything that is happening, as I'm a person that has a draining sinus, so sometimes I have extra mucus, you know, and then what I realize it clears out all the mucus, all of the mucus there, you know, the coughing and something. I don't cough like that that much anymore, okay? you know, spring start and all of that. This is not for this thing that we are battling. I am telling you again, I just did it and it is soothing to the throat. It soothes my throat, you know. With the coughing and the this and the that and something. I don't cough every time, but you know, sometimes, I don't know. I just like, you know, when you have a draining sign, little bouts of coughing comes up. So this is what I'm sharing with you. As I told you before, any little form, a little home remedy that we can take from ever since. I always share it on this channel with you. So make sure you stay blessed, stay prayed up, stay sanitized, stay sterilized. 
keep away from crowded areas if you don't have to go on the road keep off the road because there are other things out there apart from what we are battling this what we are battling is a major one but there are other ones that are going to pop up little cough little sniffles little itches little everything and then too we are going to get scared and think it's the big boy when maybe it's not so as we go along we have got to try in our kitchens to come up and so all time people and used to do it to come up with the home remedies so this is the smile to in kitchen home remedy don't give it to small kids do not they i know small kids want to take this because it doesn't taste nice. Right. we as adults you want to try no trying of it if you're on medication get advice from your doctor first but if you're not on a medication like me i'm not on any medication no so i tried it and it is helping me it gives my throat that you know just that cooling nice feeling if you know what i'm talking about you know so this is not for a like or for a thumbs up if you don't want to like it if you don't want to subscribe this is not what it's about this is about sharing so if you want to try it you can try thanks for watching and i like that i have more videos coming for you. i think i'll have a story time for you very very early stay prayed up stay blessed and as always never it doesn't matter what we do right on the jamaican debit stream never let the evil around you never let it take control of you stay on top of things stay on top of things with them like a woman media and i like that